G'day world, I'm Coram E, currently in the Pipistrel Electro all-electric aircraft, one of a growing fleet of electric aircraft in Australia. I'm at Jandicott at the moment, Jandicott in Western Australia, which is ground zero for electric aviation in Australia. It's where the first aircraft was brought into a few years ago and where a growing fleet of aircraft are now being ported and redistributed. We've got multiple charge nodes in Western Australia operating, allowing more people to fly electric to more places. What I'm here to show you today is an interesting feature in the Pipistrel Electro with the Garmin avionics that are present in the aircraft. And in particular, how those Garmin avionics interact with the Garmin Pilot app for your phone and the Garmin Pilot watch. Now, what we've got in the aircraft here, you'll see, is the Garmin Area 660 navigation system. It's a semi-glass control for the cockpit. There's a lot of options on here. Uh, map information from Garmin, and uh, also our GPS and weather information loads with the live feed, and Bluetooth connection to the phone with the Garmin maps uh, loaded in the handset here. So I've logged into my Garmin Pilot app and I've got my area maps loaded. Now, in the aircraft, we've got our most recent flight plan loaded up there on screen now. And we'll try and get the, there we go, the exposure a little bit better here on the camera. So this is a mission that we flew a little bit earlier today from Chandicott down to Rockingham. There's a beautiful bunch of islands around here. And we flew a nice recreational mission and then back up the coast and landing there at Jandicott. Uh, what I've now got, I'm gonna go fly another mission this afternoon. A nice sunset flight out over the water and over Rotnest Island near Perth. And the brilliant thing we have, uh, I just wanna apologize quickly if there is a little bit of background noise. The aircraft is currently charging. Uh, so that's the fans on the battery you can hear right behind me. So uh, hopefully that's not messing up our background noise too much. So with the Garmin Pilot app open on the phone, I can load a flight plan, which I've done here, and then in the aircraft with the Garmin Area 660 on this semi-glass cockpit, I can connect and send my flight plan, which you'll see has just loaded up now on the Area 660 on the dash of the aircraft. So now I'm free and clear to go flying without having to look at my handset uh, because obviously this is quite small and uh, the dash display on the, on the aircraft itself is much bigger right in your pilot's uh, line of sight and field of view so we can get a really really clear on route indication of our flight plan but because we've already also loaded the on route charts into the Area 660 I've got all the information I need to fly safely and manage the different areas here. So we've got the active airspace area around Gendicott Airport and all of my flight ceiling area levels uh, on the on-route charts for my route to the island. Uh, all my ceilings and controlled airspace is indicated there. So I can fly safe and legal and clear of other air traffic uh, all on the dash here of the area of the Pipistrel Alpha Electro with the Area 660. So it's a fantastic piece of equipment and being able to plan your flights on the phone with the Garmin Pilot app prior to getting in the aircraft is excellent. You can plan the night before or that morning. You can have a look at a few different things, check your weather, plan your route, mark out your route, save it in your handset on your Garmin Pilot app. And then as soon as you drop into the Pipistrel Electro, you can upload that and have it on the dash. It simply connects via Bluetooth. As soon as you turn the Area 660 on, it will automatically connect with your phone. There's a lot of great options on this interface. Uh, the Garmin product is absolutely amazing. It's a really nice way to get semi-glass features in the aircraft without having to have the really high expense of a full glass cockpit and this, it still gives you a lot of analog information on the dash too. Instead of having the full glass cockpit, we've still got our good old fashioned dig, uh, analog style gauges. Now these are all digital, so they do power up with a, a digital meter and have a, a digital indication 
on the gauges as well. But it gives you that nice analog feel, which I quite like as an aviator. I like to see the needle on my altimeter and uh, I like to see my indicated airspeed on the, on the needle as well as the digital level in between. But we've also got our artificial horizon here, which gives you a lot of that information too. And you do get your ground speed on the uh, little display of the GPS up here. So it's an excellent little navigation and pilot aid to keep you safer while recreationally aviating in this amazing electric aircraft and the others that we have operating in Australia. There's quite a few flight schools worldwide now operating these aircraft because the cost of operating electric is so much greater than operating in a traditional petrol powered aircraft. Sure, you have a slightly compromised mission time, but flight training operations are typically less than an hour for most flight training, particularly the early ab initio flight training, and this aircraft will do a very comfortable 50 minutes landing with all your required reserves, and then some, even with a little bit of headwind at height. So we've been enjoying a lot of 40 to 50 minute missions in this plane, flying heaps of really cool recreational missions, as well as flight training missions for our flight training students. Uh, the flight schools are in, enjoying less than 50% of the cost of their regular aircraft, uh, sometimes in some cases lower depending on what your petrol aircraft costs are. So it makes a flight school a lot more economically viable and it allows you to lower the cost for your students as well in the flight school and make things a little bit more achievable for them. And the other hidden benefit of operating an electric plane is the flight experience. The flight experience in this type of aircraft is insane. It's so serene. You've got a glassy feel every time you're flying. There's no vibration and roar of the engine. There's no smell of fuel and exhaust, particularly when you're at the holding points. Uh, as any aviators watching this will know that the holding point is a, a not very peaceful spot. You've got Sometimes you've got your engine temperature rising quickly because there's not enough airflow. Uh, you've got all the exhaust from the plane in front of you, your plane. In the electric, we don't have any exhaust. The engine at idle is zero prop rotation. So we're just sitting peacefully at the holding point waiting for our departure notification from the tower. So uh, really nice little peaceful in flight and when taxiing and at holding points, it's a really beautiful flight experience. Obviously everything's brand new and carbon fiber. but these aircraft are beautiful and amazing. Uh, I recommend checking it out. Come and fly electric with one of our flight school partners. We've got flight school partners in Queensland and Western Australia as this goes to air. And I'm sure by the time you watch it, if you watch it in a couple of months, we're going to have extra flight school partners in New South Wales and Victoria and Tasmania as well. Flying electric aircraft, you'll be able to go to your local and have an electric flight experience. Hopefully you get bitten by the aviation bug and complete your training, uh, which you can do most of your ab initio training in the electric, if not all, and save yourself a lot of money compared to flying in a traditional petrol plane where the costs are much, much higher. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned a little bit. This Garmin system is amazing, we recommend it. The Pipistrel Electro aircraft are incredible and they're gonna change flight training everywhere when uh, people get on top of these planes and learn to adopt electric. Uh, we look forward to taking you for a fly. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I wanna see you here again on the channel soon.